Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really simple origami tent. And it's from a, it's from a hexagon of paper. And so I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to turn it into this really cool pyramid right here. See? And it's nice and hollow inside. And it's got a nice point right here. And yeah, and they're both pretty simple to make. And I'm going to show you how to fold them. Alright, ready, set, here goes. Okay, so for these two models, you need a hexagon of paper, and to get a hexagon from a square, this is what you do. So, uh, and I'm sure you already know how to do this. So if you know, if you already have your hexagon, then you can skip to here. Okay, so let's begin either side up, and let's fold in half. Try to make very precise folds. Increase your weight. Okay, and fold that this way. Alright, and now fold this point to here, but just make a crease mark in the middle. Okay, and then now take this edge and fold it to the crease mark, and again just make another crease mark in the middle, like that. And then now take this point and fold it to the crease mark we just made. <coughs> and this time we can fold it all the way across. Okay, unfold that. And now, we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part right here, and we're gonna make a fold that connects from this point right here. And we, so we're gonna make a fold anchoring at that point, and we want this edge to touch this point right here. All right, like this. And then once you got it, crease it sharp. Okay, and keep it folded, and repeat on this side, so. The side is a little easier actually. Take this edge and fold it to this edge. Like this. Okay, and now turn over like this, so make sure you're on the side with the crease right here. And fold this up in between these two points right here. And try and hold the layers down so they don't slide. tricky at first because it's so many layers and you have to get it right. And also make sure you're perfect, make sure this point aligns with that crease on the side. Okay, just like this. <clears throat> okay, and now unfold that. And now if you want, you can use scissors to cut along this crease right here, and that's what I did in a couple of my recent videos. But actually, I have a way you don't have to cut it. So if you don't have scissors, then you don't need to do this. So, I mean, if you don't have scissors, then you, you, don't, you don't need to cut it if you don't want to. So I'm gonna show you a way to still make a hexagon, but without cutting it. So make sure that fold is nice and sharp. And now let's completely unfold. It'll probably be a little bit easier to fold the tent if you cut it because the, the layers are thinner. But here we go. So we're gonna fold the white side up and we're gonna fold these flaps on these existing creases right here. So I'm gonna start here, grease them sharp, and then do that all the way around. Okay, just like this, and here is our hexagon. Pretty cool, huh? We didn't even cut it. We didn't cut the paper at all. So, yep. All right, so once you got your hexagon, let's fold the tent. So, let's first reinforce these creases right here. Make sure they're all mountain folds on the color side. Just fold on them like this. Okay, and now, we're gonna make a crease in between these two segments right here. So fold the hexagon in half like this. Okay. And now look for any empty segments. Oh, make a crease in between here.
Okay, it's like this. Alright, now let's just reinforce all these creases just to make sure they're all mountain folds like this. Okay, and now let's start forming the tint. So, what we're gonna do is start at a corner right here, a corner of the hexagon, and we're gonna make this mountain fold right here, and we're gonna make a pleat fold. So we're gonna take this mountain fold and, and fold it to this mountain fold right here. So we make a valley fold in between here, like this, all the way up to the middle point. And then you can place it on the table and crease it nice and sharp. Like that. And now do that all the way around the hexagon. So take this and fold it to this fold. And after this one I'll fast forward all the other ones. Alright, and crease it sharp. Okay, and now do that all the way around. And I'm gonna fast forward this part. Okay, like this. So here we have the tint starting to form. And now we're gonna kinda lock all these points together. So to do that, it's very simple. So just form one pleat like this and take this part and fold it right over this edge right here. Make sure it goes tightly around the edge too. And goes to that point right there. Like this, and then just increase it as sharp as you can to make it stay. And yeah, and it helps to use the table to do this. <laughs> like that. Alright, and then do that all the way around. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay, just like this. So here we have a tint right here. And if you like it like this, then you're done. I mean, it's a nice tint right here. But, um, we're gonna make it so it's not so jagged on the bottom right here. See all these points right here? So we're gonna make it look like this. So, it's not hard. So all we have to do is, we're just gonna fold these, so I'm gonna start here, so we're gonna fold this point in between this point. So just fold it in like this. And it can be a little bit tricky because it's kind of, the paper is kind of thick right there. I'll zoom in so you can see. Just fold it in between these two points. Like this. So yeah, like I said before, if you if you cut the excess paper when you when you make your hexagon and if you cut the paper along that fold, it'll be it'll be a little bit easier to fold this model, I think. Because there won't be as much layers. Alright, like this. And then you can refold that point. And yeah, when you're doing this it helps to kinda unfold that point right next to it so it's not in the way. And here we go, continue that way. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Okay, just like this. Yeah, that looks much better. So it's not so jagged on the bottom. So yep, you can set it down like that. And this is actually kind of satisfying to do. You can just place it down like this and you can kind of tap this point right here. Like you're tapping a drum. It actually makes a nice sound. Yeah. It's like a nice little fidget toy. Alright, so there is the the tint right there. So yeah, it's a nice hexagon bottom. And it's a nice cone. Yeah, it's pretty hollow inside. Alright, now you want to see how to turn into a pyramid now? Alright, here it goes. So, first, oh, and one, one other cool thing about this model, you can, actually, you can actually flatten it like this for storage. See, just like that. Isn't that cool? I forgot to show that in the intro. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff you can do with this model. Alright, so you really need to flatten it first, so like this. And then now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge right here and we're gonna fold it to this line, like this. Increase that sharp, okay? And then I unfold it like this. So here we have these two creases right here. And now we're gonna push this part in like this. So we're gonna kinda invert this side in. Like this. Alright? And now the easiest way to form a pyramid like this is you can just take so invert it like this, then you can take this edge right here and fold it to that crease inside. It's like you're making a box right here. Like this. 
See? And look at that. There's your pyramid right there. See? But there's a big flap inside here, and it doesn't look as hollow inside. So now I'm going to show you to make it like this, where there's no flap. So this is a little bit harder. So this is the simple way, and, this, and now I'm going to show you the complex way. So let's unfold that like this. And now we're going to reflatten it like this. Okay. And then now we're going to do is we're going to fold this up on that fold like this. And actually, I recommend just leaving a little bit of space, actually. Leave a little gap right there because we're going to be folding that flap over like this. And then now make the flap a little bit thinner like this. Just fold this over to taste. Just make sure that's thinner. All right. And then now same right here, too because the pocket in there is not very big, so you need to make this flap skinnier. So yeah, these folded just to taste. Okay, and now here's the difficult part, so fold it over like this. <laughs> that's, not the that's not the tricky part. This is the tricky part, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna open this pocket right here, and this is kind of thick, so it'll, good luck at this. It may not look the cleanest, but try and stick it in there. Like this. Ah, it's not cooperating. <laughs> okay. Oh, and also be careful. Oh god, I just tore it right there. Look at that. Yeah, be careful so you don't tear the paper. So yeah, like I said before, just um, when you make your hexagon, just cut that excess paper off when it's your first try. I, I just recommend doing that first. And there, it looks like I got it in there. So flatten it as much as you can, like this. Alright, and then now just kind of open the pyramid back up, and look at that, there's no flap in there, so now it looks more hollow, so yeah, yeah, and by the way, when I made the hexagon for this one, I, I cut the excess paper off, so this one was easier to fold, but yeah, so there is the pyramid, and yes, it flattens like this, in both directions, <laughs> so yeah, it's flattening like this, see if we can get a flicker. No, it's not going to be a flicker because it's open right here. Yeah. So there it is. And now if you want to turn it back into the tent, then all you do is you just pull that flap out you just made. And then unfold these folds right here. And it's not going to look as clean because of all this funkiness right here. But it's alright. It looks like a tent. Yep. Tent. Yep. And then good luck trying to turn it back into a pyramid. It'll probably be a little bit easier because you already made the folds and you already did it. So let's see if I can do it. That's a full game here. You have to get this big bulky flap into that <laughs> pocket. Try to not tear the paper. God, it's still hard. <laughs> oh, there we go. Looks like I got it in there. Yep. Now open the pyramid back up, and voila! Alright, well, hope you guys managed to fold that, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And make sure you subscribe, and let me know what you think. Alright, see you guys later.